Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Matthew 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. If you woke up this morning and felt a heaviness in your heart and feel so tired, well, it's more than a physical burden. It is a spiritual burden. And unless you're able to deal with it, it will go on and on and on and on. And this is the reason why the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I give you rest. Friends, the rest that Jesus is offering us today is not a rest to the physical body. Because if it is only the physical body that is burdened, all you need is to have is a good night's sleep. And the following day you wake up and you will be so rested, refreshed. But a spiritual burden is more than that. It can go on and on. And so the offer of the Lord Jesus Christ is to give us rest, not to the physical body, but to the spirit. That's why he said that I give rest to your soul. He said it here. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Wow, is it that yes, I am gentle in spirit. Friends, if we only would entrust our burdens to the Lord, He said that He is gentle and He will deal with us gently with a quiet and gentle spirit, friends. He will come and lift our spirit up to release us from what burdens us. He said that my yoke is easy my burden is light <laughs> amen and so friends the lord will not demand from us more than what we can handle and so he will take our burdens and he will allow allow us to do something more see maybe worship him but in the things that he will tell us to do friends those will not be burdensome it this will not be burdensome and so why don't we entrust our problems to the lord otherwise it will go on and on and on and see, friends, sometimes we rely on a physical rest. Like, a, well, let me just have a good night rest. But let me tell you this, just to give you an example. Supposing you are burdened deep within, and it has something to do with your job. See, you have done something. Many of the burdens, the spiritual burdens that we have, friends, it's caused by sin or something that we have done that did not please the Lord. Maybe we have done something at work. And we are burdened and we don't have a good relationship with everyone now so what happens even before you go to bed you are already burdened so thinking about going to work tomorrow friends you are carrying the burden into your sleep and you think that you can be released by you by just sleeping eight hours a day no because the following day that burden is still stay is still there and the moment that you think again that you are not going to work, oh, so heavy. That's why even early in the morning, you feel heaviness. You feel so tired because you were not released from your spiritual burden. So why don't we release it to the Lord now? When he said, come unto me, why don't we go to him? He said, entrust your burden to me. Cast your cares upon me for I care for you. Why don't we? and plus our cash before the Lord. Amen. That's the only way out to this burden. And so I pray that even today, as you deal with your issues in life, if you are burdened spiritually, well, trust the Lord. Amen. And, and trust your burden to Him. Yes, He loves you. He cares about you. He doesn't want that you unnecessarily carry a burden. That's why He said that, come. Why don't you come? So let's respond to that invitation of the Lord. Amen. So today, friends, I pray that you now be released from your burden. Amen. Be set free in Jesus' name as you respond to that invitation. Amen. And so, friends, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up His countenance on you and give you His peace, His shalom. God bless and see you again tomorrow.